Hello, all you sky gazers and moon watchers. Welcome to Tutoring Hour. I'm Albert Einstein, the Astronomer Owl. In this video, we'll learn about the phases of the moon. The night sky is aglow with stars, but it is the changing shapes of the moon that fascinate me. Before I talk about the phases of the moon, I must tell you a few quick facts about the moon. The moon is a non-luminous body. It does not emit or produce light on its own. The moonlight is actually the light of the sun reflected by the moon. The moon goes around the earth just like the earth goes around the sun, and it also spins on its axis. On its journey around the earth, the sun lights up different parts of the moon, making the moon appear to change shapes. The part of the moon facing the sun is lit up, and the part that's away from the sun is dark. There are eight phases of the moon, each of which is named after how much of the moon is visible from the Earth. The first phase is the new moon. In this phase, the moon appears completely dark because the unlit side of the moon is facing the Earth. After a day or two, a thin silver or crescent of light is seen. This is the second phase, and we call it the waxing crescent. Waxing means growing, so the crescent moon appears to grow a little more each day until it reaches the third phase, when we see the first quarter or the half moon. This is followed by the fourth phase, the waxing gibbous. The waxing gibbous is the phase between the half moon and the full moon. The completely lit up face of the moon then turns toward the Earth. This is the fifth phase and it's the full moon. This is when we see a complete disk. This is followed by the waning gibbous, the sixth phase. Waning means shrinking. The moon in this phase appears to shrink from full to half. Then comes the seventh phase, the third quarter. We see the third quarter moon as a half moon too but it is the opposite half that is illuminated this time. The eighth phase is the waning crescent. We see the waning crescent phase as a thin crescent of light. Then the moon disappears completely and we have the new moon again. From Earth, we see the moon pass through eight phases. It first appears as a new moon and then grows into a thin crescent before it snowballs into a half moon. The next phase is the full disk, followed by the shrinking phase when it becomes small until it appears like a thin crescent again, before finally vanishing for a few days. The growing and shrinking cycle of the moon is repeated every month and is called the lunar cycle. The moon takes about 29 and a half days to pass through all of its phases. Get your books and pencils out, observe the night sky, and note down the phases of the moon. Visit tutoringhour.com to put your knowledge to the test. Like and subscribe, and stay connected with us. See ya!